but just to recap, they will be up there for six so, months on the so, Tiangong so Space Professor Station. Professor Yang Liuyang and, and Wang Yaping are also at the second? Yes, all of them belong to the second group. Second group of the yes. Chinese astronauts. So, as program. I mentioned, we have uh, five men and two women in the second group. And it will be some time before the third group of astronauts will be uh, done with their training, wouldn't it? The third group has already been selected, and also we have uh, female astronauts. And they're saying that, that the preparation is ready. They have been asking for permission to. And that's the three announcing that they are ready and prepared for this mission into space. And after a very brief farewell to this uh, crowded, I believe their family are still there, and also some other uh, uh, crew members and all three astronauts will be heading to the launching site. And that launch will take place in about an hour. This is not very far. It's hours. not very far from the Wintango, right? It's like 20, 20 minutes drive. Uh, also, uh, you know, that's, uh, they, 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 they take a ground vehicle to the uh, launch pad, mm. and also they will uh, use the lift to the ninth floor of the uh, service tower. So these three astronauts have uh, been in quarantine in uh, the lead up to this, haven't they, uh, Professor Zhang? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't really want to bring any sort of virus or bacteria <laughs> out there. You get sick, then uh, you might have to abort the whole mission to come back quickly. That's, uh, that's not something to look forward to. How long would this quarantine have been? About a week, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So when would, it, when would be the last chance for them to see their family in person? I mean, I suppose here, would they be able to say goodbye in this uh, the send-off now? I'm not sure I see their families there. Usually their family member will uh, among the audience. Mm, but they wouldn't be able to have any... I can still remember last time uh, the daughter of Miss Wang Yaping right. also uh, uh, among, is, is among the people and, right. uh, and called her mother. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, it shouldn't be that much of a problem because they uh, they can just call them from from space anyway. Right. It's, it's a lot easier. Now. Yeah, yeah. They can communicate, right? They can, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can still communicate and send messages to their families. Yes. So uh, this procedure we have seen uh, is our Chinese tradition. It's quite different from that of Russia. You may have heard of that. You know that uh, during every launch, every uh -huh. Soyuz launch, uh -huh. uh, the male astronaut will pee uh, uh, on their way to the launch pad. <laughs> because this, uh, this tradition comes from uh, Yuri Gagarin. Yuri Gagarin. Uh, <laughs> during his first flight of human being, so he peed uh, during, uh, to, to the wheels of the uh, ground vehicle. And, for and a female, now become a tradition. Uh, uh, so uh, for the female for China, astronaut, yeah. because uh, it's not very convenient to do this, no. so they will, uh, before the, the, this course, they will uh, put their urine in a bottle okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and pull that on the views. This is Russia now, right? Right, but not right. something that but we're seeing here. That's so that's, that represents the uh, best wish for the safety of the journey. We should have our own tradition. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess we do, right? They eat fowls. The... They do? They eat they Bowser, right? The last they eat thing. Bowser before, uh, before yeah. lunch. The last uh, meal on Earth. Bowser is not only... And uh, they will also sign, they, they, they will make the signature on the, do on the, on the door uh, of the dormitory. You really, you really, you know, that's for me, uh, during, before the launch, uh, I always eat three bowls uh, <laughs> for, for, for the success. So you're following the tradition as well. Yeah. <laughs> Does that correlate with the number of astronauts? If there are six, you're going to have to... Uh, Really stuff yourself. <laughs> yeah. So we're looking at the weather right now. Um, the conditions look pretty good over there, right? So this is uh, the, uh, sort of an ideal condition for launch, Professor Zhang. Yeah, it looks like so. Um, if the wind is too much, it can knock the rocket off course a little bit. But of course, you can gimbal the, uh, the engine to bring it back. But lightning will be a problem. It will fry the electronics, even the navigation, to make it lose control. But when uh, we talk about wind, I mean, how strong wind would it need to be to have to cause an abort of the mission. Gale uh, force? I mean, surely not just a... That really depends on the safety margin. Um, well, today, you're it's hearing looking at the, the crowd is cheering and... Uh, 
waving goodbye to those astronauts. And now they're heading to the launching pad. And Joe Chan Satellite's launching center. And the medics will stay in the same vehicle with them mm -hmm. uh, to take care of our astronauts and also uh, our, uh, to ensure that because you know that they are already wearing the IVA space suits. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So must keep that in a very good status. And also sometimes you know you may notice that they will uh, have a small box in their hands. A so small box, sorry. A, a very small box. Uh, okay. Small box. Uh, there are also pipes connected to their uh, space suits. This is to uh, uh, provide some ventilations because in some cases it will be very hot uh, inside the IVA space suit, and with this uh, ventilation device, uh, they will cooling down. Mm. And a three Tycoon uh, led by is uh, Commander Chen Zhong, a veteran of 2016 Shenzhou 11 mission, are on their way to the launching site. And our reporter Ning Ho uh, joins us on the scene. Hello, Ning Ho. How are the preparation going now? Going yeah, uh, we're now in a platform that's about a 1.5 uh, kilometer away from the launch pad. And you can see out over here is China's only manned space launch pad. And the rocket is in position. And you can see there's a clear blue sky where with barely no wind. So we got a very good weather today. And uh, we're now in this three hour minor, uh, countdown. And earlier this morning, while well, uh, people have finished the last round of checks wall system for the rocket. And now as we enter in three uh, minor a three hour countdown, people are beginning to closing hatches in the rocket and also uh, the manned spaceship uh, become, become to power on uh, with engineers entering the ship and preparing it for, for the uh, Taikonauts to, to go into it. And also uh, to learn more details about the rocket and also the condition, we got a guest here uh, who is from the uh, China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, Mr. Chen Han, who is also one of the uh, rocket designing team. And I'll let him to tell us more about the condition of the rocket right now. Uh, Chen Han, mm, so, Mr. Chen, tell us about the shape of the rocket and what preparations have you done? Well, according to the briefing yesterday, uh, we expect to uh, ignite the rocket at 10.45 and uh, we have entered into the preliminary uh, procedures of the pre-launch uh, cycle and uh, the, earlier today we have uh, conducted a pre-launch test and now the rocket is in very good shape and we have also done some other staff, for example, the uh, running of the calculation and also the test of the control system and we have uh, installed battery and we also deployed the uh, test uh, pipelines. So now the rocket has been there for a good time and uh, so what preparations have we done to ensure that it's in very good shape. So this is the Long March 2F uh, carrier rocket and this is uh, taking a longer time uh, in terms of uh, standing on the launch pad. So we have uh, tested the uh, carrier uh, capacity and also the uh, risk warning capacity of the rocket. We have conducted numerous uh, experiments. In the meantime, we have adjusted the humidity and temperature of the rocket. Uh, when it gets ready to be launched, we have uh, tested the ceiling of the uh, rocket. We conducted uh, multiple rounds of tests. So, so it's ready to go. Yes, it's ready to go. Uh, so, uh, well, in just a moment, and the, the Taikonauts will enter the rocket, and also the chief designers will also go to the launch pad to do, to do a final and thorough round of check for the rocket before we launch. Yeah, that's what we uh, learned here. Back to you. Uh, Becky, that's our reporter, Ning Hong. It's always, uh, it's always good to hear all the good news. Is every, it seems that every, everything is ready. So now let's get mm -hmm. back to our uh, studio. Uh, uh, Professor Yang, uh, as our reporter Ning Hong just mentioned, the Zhou Chuan Satellite Launching Center is the only one uh, launching center in China for man for manned mission. Why is that? Uh, well, uh, part of this is due to the historical uh, 